and welcome to Talking Schmidt. I'm your host, Eric Schmidt. Hello, I am Greg Burmeister. Uh, and today, it's you, you may be able to hear it. There's a gentle rain going on yeah, outside. Yeah, it's very which nice. Is, which is pretty... Uh, ex- it is nice. It's soothing. It is. I uh, like it. Hopefully, it doesn't soothe us too much. Hopefully, there's some excitement <laughs> yeah. in what we're talking about. Uh, <laughs> but I guess we'll go ahead and see. Uh, Greg, how about the other night, right? Oh, buddy. Live Snakes The Live Snakes comedy, comedy show. show went pretty good. It went People were very talking. Well. People, people, people are still talking. People are still I'm talking. not mistaken. Yeah. Can't wait to get those pictures that... Uh, yeah. Yeah. The wonderful Mindy Tucker took there. Very excited about those. Now, Greg, it was fun. Uh, it was fun. Yes. It was also, uh, you know, when you're when you're producing, when you're hosting, when you're performing, uh, setup can be a little stressful. You know, you can be like, oh, is this just right? Is this just right? Are the lights just right? Do yeah. I have everything just right? And in the chaos of starting the show, I I completely forgot to set up my camera. Ah, to yes. record my set, <laughs> uh, which I was like most looking forward to because I was busting out some new jokes that I would have really liked to have like a good tape of yeah. at, at a great venue. Use it for some nice Instagram reels. Yeah, you know? which is what you have to do you these gotta, days. You gotta, you gotta, gotta do it, whether you, got, you like it or not. Whether you like it, you gotta do it. So uh, I, I, you know, I, I just completely forgot. And then I went up and started talking. And well, actually, when you went up is when I realized. And I like, uh, and you so, were like, oh no, I have like 30 seconds. Yeah, I was like, I definitely don't have time. So what I tried to do was just set up the camera in my pocket. I should have just gone to like the audio and just at least gotten the audio. But for some reason, I was like, I just pressed record on the uh, video and then just stuck my phone in my pocket and went up like that. Uh-huh. And, uh, it immediately stopped recording. I guess my pocket pressed the stop oh, recording. No. So I had like four seconds of the inside of my pocket at the start of the show. <laughs> very very that good. Was, yeah. <laughs> Just post Honestly, that. Honestly, <laughs> the only ball dropped that night, so I don't mind. Everything yeah. else went really, really, really fun. If, and if really there's good. one ball to drop, that's, that's probably that's, the I'd preferred. Ra- I would have rather dropped that ball, yes. and I did drop that ball. So <laughs> if I had dropped ball, it was that one. Uh, went really fun. You were yeah. amazing, by oh, the way. Thank you. thank you for doing it. Thank you for playing live musical intros for everyone. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. Whose was your favorite? Uh, My, obviously, you can't you can't say mine. I know you would say mine. Uh, well, naturally. Yeah, yeah, of course. But you can say <laughs> but someone besides else's. Besides yours, um, I think I I equally liked Dave Hills and Max Fines. Yes, those were fun. Yeah. Uh, you played. Uh, so Dave Hill mm-hmm. asked us when I asked him what song he wanted as his intro. He said something by Adele, Mm. uh, the British singer Adele. Yeah. And you and I both took that to mean that there was a song called something. (laughs) Yeah, because we're not, I mean, I guess I can't speak for you, but I'm not a a huge Adele fan. I'm not like not a fan of her. No, I I think she's a great singer. singer, I just don't listen to her a lot. Puts out a lot of great hits. Yeah. Yeah. Or had previously any, I don't know if she, Uh, does she still, is she still a musician? I actually don't even know. I don't know. But yeah, we both assumed she had a song called something. Yeah. You know, something by Adele. And you spent a great deal of time looking it up. (laughs) Yeah, I was on Google, like (laughs) Adele something. Something <laughs> Adele, <laughs> and nothing, I was like, "Oh, he, nothing was coming." Oh, up. he meant just any song. Should have said anything by Adele. I think would yeah, have been a better yeah. way to put that. So <laughs> we'll give Dave a note for next time. Uh, that was a fun. By the way, that was a fun um, segment you guys had. People were a little confused. Oh yeah, yeah. He was. He was. You he guys used, were doing a bit. You know, yeah, he, was, yeah. he was. You were. You were trying to adjust his levels for yeah. him on the guitar, uh, <laughs> and he was. He was not being nice about it. Yeah. But it was a bit. We were having yeah, fun. Yeah, it was, it was a good People time. People were like, should we beat that guy up? I was <laughs> like, like, please no, don't. No, please don't do that. He's the homie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, and then we ended up adding Max Fine. Lovely addition. Lovely addition. He, I was planning on having him on the next show that I that I hosted. Oh, oh very yeah, good. I, so, but he asked, he asked if he could do it. And I was like, well... Uh, you know, a lot of comedians, by the way, do this thing. And if you're if you're a comedian and you're watching or listening, uh, they'll be like, oh, "I need I need to get on a show. I need to get on. I got something big. I need uh, to everyone get." Everyone always has something. Yeah, coming I gotta up. prepare. I need five minutes. I just need five minutes on a show. You know, and you're like, <laughs> "All right, what the? F-? If it if it was for real, you would say what it was." Uh, yeah. But I saw he posted that kind of stuff, and I was just like, "All right, what is that?" <laughs> and then he texted me, and I was like, "What is it?" And he told me, and I'm not, I'm not going to say, oh, uh, but insider information. Yeah, he, he, but he said what it was, and I was like, "My God, I got to." Then yes, I will absolutely. Yeah, one hundred percent. Come on, Max. Let's make it happen. Let's do this. So um, 
and he, he did end up getting the thing, by the way. Yeah. So it worked out. He, he booked the gig, so to speak. And I think I, I think I deserve most of the credit, actually, yeah, if I'm being honest. You should get a 20% agent fee. Yeah. Without me, he would not have gotten that great <laughs> thing that happened to him because he did the show. Uh, but you, which song did you play yeah. for Max? Uh, the Top Gun theme song. One of my favorites. Yeah, to play. it's a fun one. Now, he did not... He did not choose that one. <laughs> no, no, he, he, he didn't. Turns out he didn't even know it was coming. <laughs> yeah. So, a late, you know, because he was a late addition, we, we didn't. I was just like, this is what you're getting. <laughs> but super fun. Nonetheless, the whole show was quite was quite a time. And uh, yeah, very happy to be there at, at that at that great venue, the gutter in Williamsburg. So hopefully. Uh, many, many more great shows to come. Absolutely. And by the way, that's going to be monthly every last Thursday of the month. Yep. The next one is what, March 28th? March 28th, I believe. So, and we'll, we'll figure out a host by then. Uh, <laughs> Hopefully. It we're we're comes alternating. Together. You know, it won't be me, uh, but we're alternating. The next one I host, I think, is in September. And then I am hosting also the uh, Thanksgiving one ah. on Thanksgiving. And then uh, I'll be doing a set on the one in June. So, I'll, oh. so the one in June might be the one to come to if you want to see me doing a lot more time. But a if you full. like me in smaller doses, I would say come to the... <laughs> yeah, pick your battles. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but either way, just come out. It's, all, it's always going to be fun. Um, Greg, I, I, I saw some disturbing news on... Um, oh, no. Yeah, on Twitter. Or, well, apparently, it's been called X. Apparently, people Really? Been, yeah, apparently... Is it the, like the letter? Yeah, right. Not like ex girlfriend. No, 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 oh, okay. no, no. Yeah, the letter X. Now I was interesting. I was a little confused because I went to go to Twitter dot com. Right. <laughs> yeah. On I have the app, or I had the app. Oh, it's an application. Yeah, you can download the oh, application oh, okay. right to your phone, uh, your electronic, uh, your 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 smartphone. I think you got to have a smartphone. I don't think it works. Oh yeah, other. I'm not sure if mine's smart. If you've got like a, I'll have to take it into the. Yeah, if you just have a regular the, cellular the phone, specialist. Sure. If you have like a regular cellular phone, I don't think it'll work on that. Oh, okay. I think you need like a smartphone. I think pretty sure landline is right out. Like definitely not going to work on that. Interesting. But, so you download this application, uh, and it previously again it was called Twitter. <laughs> I've I've heard of that one. Yeah, right. So I thought I, it was a website though. But. Sure. Yeah. Totally understandable. I mean, no big deal that you made that mistake. <laughs> no one's going to get mad at you. <laughs> But I, uh, so I go to get on the, the Twitter.com, right? On Well, it's an app, like I said. Yeah. So I go to get on it, and it is a different logo. It used to be like the blue with the bird. Yeah, right? yeah. Yeah, you remember that. And now, and I, I, at first I was confused. I thought I had accidentally downloaded some sort of pornography, oh, uh, you know, application. that's what X sometimes yeah, represents. Right. And it's like real, it's real adult looking. It's kind of like a gritty... Oh, so it might be like some of that, you know, that that rougher stuff, you know, that yeah. people are into. Now, me myself, I don't I'm not not in not into any You're of that. A wholesome you can boy. Just, you can just forget it. I'm saving myself <laughs> for my second marriage. So uh, <laughs> I like that about you. Yeah. yeah. You know, you can never be too safe with this Jesus <laughs> stuff. You got to be like into win, baby. Yeah, buddy. So. Yeah. Uh, so I but I open it. Right. Mm -hmm. I'm, well, I, I can see it says it says like. I, I don't know. I opened it by accident, I guess, you know, and then and then I realized, oh, th wait, this is Twitter. Oh, yeah, yeah. This is what I remember Twitter being. <laughs> and, you know, all my old friends are there you know, oh, that good. I used you to got follow. To hang out um, mm -hmm. virtually. Yeah, sure. And, you know, they're saying their quips. They're saying their witty little things. Yeah. Man. And uh, I, I noticed our, our friend of the podcast. Mm hmm. Pat Kiernan. Pat Kiernan. Yeah. Friend of the pod. Friend of the pod. A Marvel star. But maybe not. Pat after, Kiernan. Yeah. Maybe not after you hear this. Oh, no. So here's what I found out. This guy, uh, I, I wasn't following this person, but they're called at Clash City Baz. OK. OK. And they, I don't get it, but that's. Yeah, I don't you either. Know. But I got I, I didn't investigate. Either. <laughs> I was I was too distracted by what Pat had to say. Yeah. What, what, but, what, well, uh, first, hold on. So Clash City Baz <laughs> tweeted an image of uh, of a bagel someone had dropped on the ground in the subway uh, and just left that's, behind. That's unfortunate. Now, now, listen, folks, if you drop your your bagel on the ground in the subway pick it up and throw it away yeah you don't have to eat it just pick it up and yeah. put it in a receptacle if you Come don't on. and we catch you we'll make you eat it yep yeah that's what we should start doing so anyway they um uh the guy dropped the guy, someone dropped the bagel this guy documents it and he says uh he adds the the comment to his picture he says a new york story of disappointment which yeah is a pretty clever thing to yeah, say. About that. Right. I mean, it's, I wouldn't have liked it, but no, and no, I don't think I did either. By the way, yeah. Uh, so <laughs> apologies to Clash City Baz, <laughs> but anyway, so 
Pat re, re I guess it's called re-xing. I don't know what it's called uh, anymore. Uh, it used yeah. to be called retweeting. That's what I'm going to call it still. Yeah. So Pat goes to retweet it, and uh, he adds, "Is it sesame?" He has a question. Yeah. He adds, "Is it sesame or everything?" Because if it's everything, the floor can keep it. Ooh. Now, yeah, I didn't care for that I don't one. No, I love you, Pat, but. Yeah, your taste in bagels. Is, yeah, that's. I mean, that's makes my makes me question everything. Right? Really. That's, like he, that's my favorite thing to make a breakfast sandwich out of. Ooh, buddy, you go breakfast sandwich with it? Yeah. Oh man. Oh. I mean, that's that is pretty damn good. I've been, I've, and I know I've said it here before. I think plenty of times, <laughs> but I like putting. I like getting the. I mean, you can you can do a breakfast meat if you want, but like with my cholesterol and like the heart thing. You gotta, you know, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta not cut, sometimes. Yeah, you gotta cut that out sometimes. That's true. So, but yes, breakfast sandwich, egg, cheese, and a hash brown on Ooh, an everything bagel. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. But Pat Kiernan, not a fan. Not a fan of the everything bagel. Bummer. I always, yeah, I usually <laughs> use bagels as a way to describe someone who like is afraid of going to the next level. You know, like ah. like if you like onion bagels. You know, or like, let's say you like Dave Matthews band, but you don't, <laughs> but you don't like fish. <laughs> yeah. But you don't like fish. Oh, yeah. So yeah. it's like, dude. You're not quite fully jam band. Yeah, yeah. What are you doing? Why are you yeah, sticking with the onion on. bagel? Get that everything <laughs> bagel going. So. I, I actually can't even remember the last time I ate a bagel. But, oh, that's good. Yeah, I just, I don't really eat them. But if I do, the everything is, is hands down my favorite. I went to a party. Oh, no. At Pat Kiernan's house. <laughs> And he had everything bagels there. Really? Mm-hmm. So either he's just a really good uh, party host, <laughs> yeah, or that's probably uh, <laughs> that's probably what it is. <laughs> or the man's a liar. <laughs> oh my! Well, we won't we won't say that about him. Uh, but we do question his taste in bagels at this point. Uh, Pat, you're welcome to come back and defend <laughs> your bagel choices anytime. Uh, we just had some breakfast. We did. Together. We did. It's uh, it's not the morning. It's the afternoon. Yeah. We, we I, went to a night. Nice, nice little place down the street. Um, comfort land. That's it. Comfort land. We could make this podcast just about food, by the yeah. way. You, we're, you, we we're, could just, we're already 12 minutes in. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Yelp podcast, yeah, basically. We're just like, so this is pretty good. I like this. Yep. Uh, that, not so much, man. But if you like it, that's okay, too. <laughs> but yeah, my God, great uh, I had I had like a biscuit sandwich that was terrific. Yeah, that looked amazing. What'd you get? I had like this ground prime rib with eggs and cheddar cheese and tater tots or some kind of hash brown. Mm. Oh, buddy, it was tasty. Yeah, I'll, I'll get that next time. We'll yeah, swap. you should. We'll get, yeah, well, because well, you and I are you know we've been friends for over ten years. I believe. Yeah, yeah. We're not quite at like sharing sandwich. <laughs> no, it's no. a little messy too. Like, I mean, yeah, it's, it, they were messy sandwiches. You didn't want to like, you don't have my beard rubbing against your carefully selected sandwich. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's best to, best, you know, you don't want to get it back with like a, a little hair sticking no, out of there. We can, so uh, we'll just, we'll just, yeah, we'll just, we'll get just get it own. next time. Yeah, there yeah. we go. Um, Greg, yes. Do you have a crazy pigeon lady in your neighborhood? I don't. Good. I feel like that's more of a Central Park, Manhattan Well, thing. these pigeons, I'm telling you, they're all over the place. Yeah, they are. They're not they just are. in the parks. But uh, <laughs> yeah, they. so there's there's one near me on the Upper West Side, and uh, and it's terrible. She just walks around. Th- she has like a cart, and she just throws the bird seed out on the sidewalks and just like hmm. hundreds of pigeons. Uh, like I, I have to cross the street. You know, if I'm like walking on the sidewalk, yeah. and I see her, I cross the street, go up the other side. Cause it's <laughs> fucking gross. I mean, pit, there's trash you know, birds. There's yeah. There's just like feathers flying everywhere. Uh, there's like shit everywhere bird, of bird variety <laughs> yeah, yeah. everywhere. It's, it's terrible. And apparently there's this woman who does it on the Upper East Side and Carl Schur Park is the name of that park over there on the Upper East Side. And uh, sure. the residents, the, the residents got so mad about it. They wrote about them in the news. Like there's people <laughs> complaining about it. It was in the New York Post. Yeah. Yeah. I and saw uh, that. which is the paper of record here. At, uh, <laughs> <laughs> what? 
<laughs> it is a terrible paper, by the way. It is, uh, but it's like it's it's, it's they known have for its headlines. They're they're a good source for if you want to also have silliness in your news. Yeah, yeah. and if you're willing to just just completely write off their editorial <laughs> opinion section, <laughs> it's not, if, if you it's if, like it's not satire. It's not like no, the Onion, but it's just no. goofy. Yeah, if you're like if you're media literate, which by the way, go back and listen if you haven't yet to the episode we had Pat on. Because we do talk about media literacy and how it's just fucking, well, my opinion, I don't want to put words in his mouth. My opinion is no one knows. No one knows what's opinion anymore or what's like real news or how to tell the difference. It's just complete idiocy out there in the world. And I mean, cable news largely to blame for it, I think. Uh, Because like with, with newspapers, at least it says at the top of the opinion section, opinion, editorial. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Now, I believe Fox, CNN, MSNBC. I mean, they all tell their viewers what their advertisers want them to tell them because that's where the money's coming from. Right. But they should have to have editorial or something <laughs> yeah, on the top of the screen like in big, at all bold times. bold capital letters. Now, don't get me wrong. You can still go to Fox's website, <laughs> CNN's website, MSNBC's website, and get articles that are about, like, that are just facts. You yeah, know, there's yeah. no opinion yep. to them. It is, there is no editorializing. It is just facts and yeah. like you like can tell the difference you should be able to tell the difference 52 degrees today right right and it's gonna feel like now i don't know how they do the feel like that's a little shady to me yeah but so some guy <laughs> just walks outside he's like man it's, it's cloud i feel i don't know it feels uh, like maybe 36 cloud and wind is making yeah. it feel a little colder you know <laughs> uh but yeah so anyway i trust the post in so much as i trust myself on how to figure out what the post yes, is getting how to at. interpret it yes yes i know how to interpret the post it's not a dangerous <laughs> publication for me uh but anyway so they they the pigeons outraged the people on the upper east side so much that like i guess they did a news story about them <laughs> and there's a picture of the lady who has been feeding them yeah, too did yeah. you see that i did yeah so go seek out that story it's pretty interesting <laughs> she's just gonna get harassed so much i mean now. she should get harassed yeah. it's fucking i mean i don't want to I don't want to pick on someone. I mean, I I do think there is a level of the people who feed the pigeons have like a, you know, like a mental health issue. Yeah. Yeah. I I think so. Like they, they, they are probably very lonely people. Uh, They, you know, they, they seek, uh, maybe they're not allowed to have animals anymore because they're real (laughs) weirdos about fucking animals. Uh, But yeah. So, I mean, I think it's like a, you know, the companionship of a fuck. I mean, Mike, Mike Tyson loves pigeons. I mean, yeah, I don't think he walks around throwing like, no, I don't think no. it's, I don't think it's he, all he, like, pi- keeps them yeah. at his home and like trains them. And yeah, it's like, yeah. it's more of like a, trains them to box. It's more of a, I don't know. Is that what he's doing? I had read up on that. Pigeon fighting. <laughs> Ooh, good way to thin the numbers. Start there pigeon go. fights. Yeah. Yeah. We got to talk. We got to have Mike them on. against each other. Yeah. That's a smart idea. Greg. Yeah. Now we're talking, but anyway, yeah, I think it's just like people have problems and they decide I'm going to be the pigeon person in my neighborhood. Neighborhood, and it's just fucking gross. And yeah. it's, it's, it's also like ve- it creates public health issues. Like yeah, you're not supposed to breathe in the shit that comes off there's of them. Poop. All yeah. Over. Yeah. It reminds me of my first day of college when I was walking to <laughs> class at 8 a.m. and a bird pooped on my head. What? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How did I not know uh, that? I don't first know. day of college at Bird Very, Shit? Yeah, like 8 o'clock in the morning. I was going to my first ever college class. And luckily, I was wearing an Ohio State hat. Yeah, but, fuck them. Uh, yeah, so, right? That's what I'm talking <laughs> yeah, about. Buddy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and a bird pooped right on my hat. Oh, my God. Yeah, Did you just throw the hat away? Or? I, th- I think I washed it. I was, I was very broke. You took it to class? <laughs> I mean, your, yeah, yeah, or did you run I, it back home real quick? And no, then I was like almost on the way. It was probably like a 10 minute walk to get to class. And you I was, lived on I was campus. almost there. Yeah, I lived yeah, on campus. And, you were uh, yeah, I just. You know, damn, 8 a.m. class and a bird shits on your head. <laughs> yeah. Fucking terrible. Yeah. Well, that's why we should kill all the pigeons. Yep, I yeah. agree. Uh, except for the ones that are friends with Mike Tyson. Those yeah, can we, stay. Yeah. Did you know, I can't remember if I've, we've talked about this in the podcast yet. Uh, pigeons are not considered wild animals they're considered feral animals because they got like they were domesticated Ah. for so long people just had them as pets yeah and then people i guess were like you know what these are fucking gross we're not having the like just as a society we were like eh, no more pigeons as pets (laughs) and then they just let them go and that's why they're all over the goddamn place and in major cities uh you know you see them and because there's like parks and shit and there's more of them so yeah troubling 
troubling pigeon situation. I don't like it. Yeah, we should outlaw. I mean, like, what? I'd hate to suggest like locking up crazy, you know, people that like lock need help. Lock them up. <laughs> <laughs> Where's, oh, is that what locker up where, means? It's about, so. it's, it's about, about the, these crazy pigeons. Yeah. It is always women. What I mean, is I, Catherine when we need her? I, I hate to generalize, but it is. <laughs> I've never seen a man doing that. I've never seen a man feeding pigeons. It's no, always no. fucking women. Uh, I do see idiot men at the beach. I mean, usually it's like children. Usually it's like teenage. Yeah. But, Se- uh, seagulls? Yeah, feeding yeah. seagulls at the beach. And you're like, dude, nah. what, are you, what, what are you doing? What are <laughs> Come you doing? On. Yeah, we don't need this. They're nah. going to. Th- and that's. They have way bigger shit. Than uh, than pigeons. Yeah, I mean, not that you want yeah. any shit on you, as you as you know. <laughs> but like, my God, oh buddy, what? It's just idiocy. Yeah, just stop true. feeding all yeah. birds. Stop. Fe- <laughs> well, that's they're your pet. Yeah, you can- if you have like a <laughs> even a still, pump. you're a real weirdo. It, yeah, it just don't, takes. Let's get the birds out of here. <laughs> <laughs> all right, no more birds. No more birds. Uh, that's how we feel here. Uh, Greg, did you see? I didn't know this was happening. We put a we put a thing on the moon again recently. Yeah, we America did. We did. did. Yeah. It's about time. <laughs> Guess. I mean, I thought we had pretty much figured out what the moon was about. I didn't know we yeah. needed to keep doing research. <laughs> Just keep going there and yeah. coming back. What are we checking like, on exactly? I, I really don't know. Like, I get why you want to go once. Yeah, you, you know, know, just check it out. And like, if, if there was crazy shit, why you might want to go back? Yeah, I'll but, go most places once. Sure, but like, why did they? You know, they went like Neil Armstrong, right? Yeah, and uh, he got out, and he was like, okay, you know, <laughs> well, not, yeah. not 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 a put, whole lot going. On put here. up a flag, picked <laughs> yeah. up some rocks, brought them home. That's about all you got. Uh, yeah. Why did we need to send anyone <laughs> back after that? Really? <laughs> like, we put up a plaque. We we're like, we win. Boom, yeah. done. Don't Got need to go it. back. It's ours now. Yeah. There's nothing to do, but Well, we, then they we kept sending here. they kept sending people back. And they yeah. were like they they brought like a car one time. Remember they were <laughs> yeah, driving yeah, around yeah. like in case just in case you didn't think getting to the moon was traveling far <laughs> enough, you got to go drive around a little bit out yeah. there. And then uh one asshole brought like golf club and golf balls. Yeah, that's like Fine, I guess. <laughs> you know, because you know, because golf is the most exciting sport yes, here on Earth. So why so. not? Why not share it with the galaxy, right? You know what I would have done? What would you do? I think you know what I would have done. What sport I would have brought to the moon? A hacky sack. No. Uh, no. What sport do we both? Oh, basketball. Yeah. Yeah. That, basketball. That'd be pretty good. White white men can jump. That's <laughs> they actually can. <laughs> now we got it. <laughs> Finally. Yes. Uh, but yeah. So anyway, they sent this thing. It was called Odysseus. Uh, that was what they landed on the moon. Quit working. Uh, yep. Tipped over, I believe. It tipped over. Yeah. yeah. Like it broke its leg, fell over. <laughs> now it doesn't work anymore. It's like great job. Yeah. Cool. There goes. A hundred and something million. No, it was like it was like over a hundred oh, million to get oh, that thing yeah, up there. That makes I, sense. I should have read more because I am interested in why the hell <laughs> you're doing. We already beat. There's we, we, we yeah, won. Like, we won point? that race. What are, what are doing? we doing? So uh, NASA, we'd love to hear from you if you want to email us. Let us know what the hell you were doing there. Um, <laughs> Greg, are you excited about the eclipse? Speaking of <laughs> planetary <laughs> things going on, uh, you know I am not even the slightest bit excited um when i i'll tell you why okay the last time there was one of these i, w- I was walking around my neighborhood had a f- you know i had to, f- to do some things i had to go to the grocery store um and the sidewalks were just packed with people wearing these huge boxes on their heads mm. you ever see those things it's like yeah it's a way to it's a way to see to the s- eclipse yeah without yeah. directly looking at right. the sun and people were wearing uh, wearing like massive boxes over their heads and trying to walk around with them hmm. and just taking up the whole sidewalk and this was back in like 2017 i yeah, believe right yep, yeah exactly yeah a little uh, couple years before covis yes and yeah it was uh, like i just is it made my life more difficult <laughs> so, <laughs> so I'm, not, I'm not an eclipse man okay fair enough yeah. uh that was a partial eclipse though i believe right um i, I yeah i don't know I think, probably I, yeah, yeah so yeah. we're uh, i'm traveling i'm gonna go see i'm gonna be in the like direct path oh, where, where you don't even need you don't need shit because it's gonna get just fully dark <laughs> you don't need a u-haul box no uh, no on your head but i'm gonna drive i'm going up to buffalo i'm oh. gonna check it out up there 
uh, have some wings, you wings, know, and, and let it get hit, dark real quick. Niagara and then, Falls. Yeah. And, is that, maybe, maybe I'll go watch at Niagara Falls. Yeah. That'd be you a should. hoot, right? <laughs> <laughs> then you know go to the moon after that yeah Apparently that's... well i'll have a little yeah man this is a space podcast now i love it uh but you're not gonna be traveling for it you're just gonna no it's, it's on I, a monday so oh yeah I'll, I'll be working yeah you'll be working just yeah. you'll notice like huh i got a little you know what would really suck uh is if i go all the way up there you know and, and then it's like cloudy <laughs> yeah. i mean it'll still get fully dark like there's some of the weird things that happen like, you know, the birds start, free- apparently like animals start freaking out because they're like, wait, what? This oh, is not- yeah. This is not natural. Yeah, this is not. So like there's a whole, there's there's some odd things that yeah, go on. Pigeons in- poop even more than normal. <laughs> Hopefully they just die. Yeah. That would be great if they're like, whoa. Um, uh. Yeah, so I'll be in the direct path. That'll be fun. Um, Greg? Yep. When do you drink your coffee in the morning? When? Yeah. Do you drink um, it like right when you wake up? Um, I don't really have like a specific time. I like, usually I wake up, um, wait around, you know, watch a little TV. Um, I generally start brewing a pot when I start working, which is 9 a.m. Right. And then when it's ready, I'll go grab a cup. But yeah, nothing like, no, like exact time. According to a new study. Yeah. You, uh, you should not drink it like immediately. Apparently, you, your your mind is working at its best, like right when you wake up. So you don't need to do <laughs> yeah. the coffee thing. Uh, apparently, like forty five minutes or after when you when you when all the good things that are going on start to dip and you start, uh, which is hilarious by the way that yeah. it starts that early that you're like you're pretty much done after you wake uh, forty five minutes after you wake up. Like it's all yeah. downhill from there because <laughs> that's the way I've felt my entire life. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I start to sundown around 10 a.m., I swear. I'm just like, well, oh boy, I'm, oh, star- I'm starting to get tired. I'm pretty sure I'm only... <laughs> yeah, I disagree with that because my brain doesn't work for the first hour I'm awake. Really? As they're saying, yeah. Huh. Um, also, I feel like there's, over the years, there's been a, a new study, mm-hmm. quote unquote, uh, about pretty much every angle in regard to coffee. It's like, okay. oh, you know, you can't drink coffee at this time. And then another study will come out and be like, this is the best time to drink coffee. Too many coffee studies. That's my And that's then they're constantly take. changing their mind on whether it's good for you or yeah, not. Exactly. Too, like, you know? oh, it's so good. So many antioxidants. And then... You know, a like, month right, later, it gives you like, nose cancer. Yeah, yeah exactly. So, no, which, no more coffee. Everybody knows it's the worst kind. No, no schnoz <laughs> cancer. <laughs> well, on schnoz cancer, we'll uh, we'll leave you, folks. Uh, thank you for listening, and have a great rest of your day. Thank you, and bye bye. Talking Schmidt is recorded at Burmeister Studios in Astoria, Queens. Opening music is by Greg Burmeister. Closing music is by Greg Burmeister. Our intern is Jason Travis. If you like what you've heard, please like, follow, and write a review for us wherever you listen to podcasts. If you didn't like it, please keep listening to it, but keep your opinions to yourself. If you really liked it, you can find bonus episodes over on our Talking Schmidt Patreon page. Membership is just $5 per month, and it goes a long way to buy us the equipment and bourbon we need. Thanks in advance, and hope you're doing great.